how is the support journey going? Um, today is good. <laughs> I've played about 170 games, I think, on my Smurf since I made the since I made the announcements. So played quite a bit, not too much, but still quite a bit. I think it's been going it's been going well. I really I really enjoy playing support. I mean, I knew that beforehand because I've been playing support in solo queue for a few years already, but as a as off role, but um, yeah, actually playing it has been fun. Trying new champs that I maybe play, didn't play so much before. I went on like a Rakan spree and yeah, really enjoy playing Rakan. I think he's so much fun. Um, Master 500 LP or something on Smurf now. This was a uh, like unranked no MMR account, so it took a while to get there, but I'm I'm climbing. Life is decent, I think. I have been a little bit up and down. We can talk a bit more about this later, but I have been a little bit up and down with my mood. I had a really down the last week um, and a really up in the beginning, right, there, right after the announcement. It's a, like it's a situation where things are changing, I guess. Um, kind of a new chapter in my life, which is why I'm chapter four. <laughs> Basically, this is kind of like turning a page in a book for me, so a lot of good stuff comes with that. That makes me happy, and then also a lot of bad stuff comes with it, or yeah, some stuff that is new feels feels bad in the moment, maybe, so a little bit up and down with my mood, but I would say long term this should do me good if I play my cards right, and I, I hope I can. I'll do my best. At the very least, and then, then if that's not enough, that's not enough. But I'm obviously hoping that my best will be enough, and that I will, yeah, pull this off, <laughs> become a really good support. Did you play much support before you announced the swap? Well, I've I've played support on and off in solo queue since I think the first year was 2017, maybe 2016, 2017, and I've always really enjoyed it. So it's not like. Uh, completely new thing to me and it's not something that randomly came on my mind it's been on my mind for a long time even thinking back to I don't know if I've said this before um, but thinking back all the way to end of 2014 maybe beginning of 2015 when Jensen was making his return to pro play when he was getting unbanned we, we spoke about being on the same team together and it was a discussion of going to Cloud9 together with me playing support so when I say it's been on my mind for a while, I really mean for a while, because that's literally 10 years ago. And if I didn't have faith in myself being able to pull this off, I wouldn't do it. Because I know if I if I int, I will just look like an idiot. And yeah, ruin maybe what could be uh, something great on AD carry still, so... <clears throat> I must have faith in myself. It, it wouldn't make sense otherwise. And I do. I did back then, I do now. I will in the future. It's just about putting the hours. Like, I personally feel like I can do basically whatever I want as long as I put down the hours. And I'm usually quite good at the hour part. <laughs> I think it's one of my strengths as a person in general, just to be like really dedicated disciplined with myself so I, I hope that this will help me on my support journey to kind of kickstart everything to be in really good shape really fast and yeah hopefully show reckless support <laughs> we'll see just saying i'm 30 support 0180 so this is me proving a point also, we can. I guess this is the time we can talk about stuff if there is more stuff to talk about. I feel like I kind of covered some of it earlier. Maybe not all of it, but some of it. Basically, what I want to accomplish is giving you guys a good vibe with the swap and myself, of course. But I already feel like there's a good vibe for me. So, um, yeah, at this point, it's more just showing you guys or telling you guys that I, I feel good about it. So we're on the same page about this support adventure that is to come. <laughs>